Okay, we're going to add an electric furnace with this system. The electric furnace is available for the I series in two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten, and fifteen kW. Today we're going to be installing a ten kW electric furnace. Now the method of installation is simple. We include this square adapter when you buy the electric furnace. It's a pre-gasketed fitting here. We include the metal zip-in screws for this. And this is going to be our 10 kW. Now the smaller units have a single element. This unit has two elements to it. The largest, the 15 kW, has three elements to it. So let's take this and, and mount this. We're going to mount this to the discharge. Now you notice there's an arrow that we'll see in just a moment that indicates your air flow. You have to be careful to do that. So we insert this into the pre-drilled openings that are in this. Now this is sometimes done before, and in this case here we're doing this before we install this in the attic. It's usually done though in the attic. So we have two, three, more screws that will eventually go into this. Now this unit here, I'm going to come in a little bit closer here, there's an airflow direction. You want to make sure that your system is facing this airflow so we have the air coming out of the system. Now inside of here we have a pressure switch. We do not allow the electric elements to energize until it proves positive airflow and that's a preventative measure for you. Also with this we have, and I have to move to the side right here, we have two breakers that are built into this. This has two 5kW strip heaters with them. Now how this is going to operate is, we'll talk about this in detail, with the I-Series if you drop down below the balance point it will energize 5kWs at a time. The sequence is the system has to run for 20 minutes and if it can't maintain the temperature after that first 20 minutes it energizes stage 1 which is 5kW. Then after another 20 minutes if, that's still, if the load is still not being met it energizes stage 2 which is 10kW. Now in the case of the 15kW you have stage 3 which we're not going to be using with this case. Now remember, 10 kW of electric heat is 34,100 BTUs. We have a house here that at negative 2 only needs roughly 28,000 BTUs. So this system will very rarely, if ever, come on. So that's our electric furnace. And again, we make this with both a round and a square adapter, depending upon what kind of plenum you're going to be using. For today's job, we're going to run 9-inch single wall metal pipe, 26 gauge metal pipe. And so we have a round adapter with it. We've opened the panel for our electric heater. Again, this is actually an electric furnace, to use the industry term for this. This is where we run our main power to for our air handler. We'll run our 240 volt power to this through the breaker that we have right here. Uh, very important for you to note, there's a sticker that says airflow this direction. Notice the, the position of the breakers and of the blower switch. This system has to be in this position. In other words, if you were to take this and flip this downwards, it would not work. So you have to be careful, pay attention to this. Now again, this breakers, this switch right here, this blower switch, will not allow the system to energize until it senses a positive pressure. So you have a safety built in with this. You actually have two breakers in here. You have one for the blower and one for the system. So again, that's where we'd add our 240 volt power. You could run 208 volt power to this. Your output would be slightly less. With 240 volt power, we would have 34,100 BTUs. 208 volt it would be slightly less than that. So again, make sure that this is in the position that you see right here before you finish the installation. So that's our electric furnace.